Let us now talk about the female reproductive system. As we said that the worm is hermaphrodite, that means both male and female reproductive parts are present in the same worm. In the previous video, we talked about only the male reproductive parts and the segments where they are located. Now, in this segment, we'll just talk about the female reproductive part and where the structures or the glands are. So, the main organ is a pair of ovaries and they are located in the 13th segment. So, again, we'll just draw those segments where the structures are present. So, this is the 13th segment and then would be the 14th. The ovaries are again attached to the membrane with the or the, to the septum with the help of a stalk and then there are finger like structures and if we enlarge this part what is going to be visible is the stalk and these many finger like structures which are going to be there and in these finger like structures we would find the ova developing and we would see various stages of development. So in every finger like structure there would be many ova and the egg would be released from the tip. To collect the egg there is the opening of the oviduct. So again the egg would be released and it would be collected by a funnel like structure and that funnel like structure would lead to a tubular part that is the OV duct. These two ducts fuse and there is a common opening here which is known as the female genital port. So these two tubes which we have drawn are the OV ducts and this is the funnel which is going to collect the egg and a common opening which is the female genital pore. So female reproductive system is comparatively very simple just a pair of ovaries to collect them there are two funnel like openings of the oviducts they fuse to form a common small duct which opens out through one common opening. When we saw the external features, we said that in the 14th segment, there is one median, mid-ventral female genital pore. This is the mid-ventral position. And from here, the eggs would be released. So one worm has both the sex organs, sperms and eggs are produced by the same worm but earthworms normally show cross pollination, sorry cross fertilization. Cross fertilization. Now how is this cross fertilization possible? For that one worm would deposit its sperms into the spermatheci of the other worm. So when we talk about the female reproductive system, we also talk about the segments where there are these paired spermatheci. So these spermatheci are small sac-like structures and there are four pairs present in 6th, 7th, 8th and ninth segments. Each is going to be a sac like structure like this and here is going to be the opening. So here also a sac like structure. So all these paired structures are going to be there. So there would be in these segments also. And this is the last 
So during copulation, one worm deposits its sperms in the spermatheci of the other worm. These are spermatheci and these openings are called spermatheal openings or apertures. So openings are 5-6 segment because it is the septum. This is the fifth segment. The next one is 6-7, then 7-8 and 8-9. This is how the openings are. So spermatheal openings are on the septa, whereas the structure, the sac-like spermatheci, they are present in the sep, in the, inside the segment. Now what exactly happens during copulation that we will discuss in the next part.